Hello friends, in this video we are going to cover the clindamycin. The clindamycin is also bacteriostatic um, like metronidazole that we discussed in the previous class. So metronidazole is also bacteriostatic and clindamycin is also bacteriostatic. There are two forms, one is oral and another is IV form is available there. So it is also protein synthesis inhibitor. So protein synthesis inhibitions by binding with the 50th ribosomal subunit. So clindamycin is protein synthesis inhibitor and the metronidazole was DNA synthesis inhibitor okay and clindamycin interferes with the formations of initiation complex so at first mRNA binds with the ribosome so it inhibits the formation of the initial complex and amino acyl translocation reactions so clindamycin works against gram positive cocci gram negative anaerobic bacillus like bacterioids and it cannot work it works gram positive cocci like streptococcus staphylococcus but cannot work enterococcus and aerobic gram negative organism so it works only anaerobic cannot work in aerobic and co cocci means strepto and staphylo not entero strepto and staphylo not entero so which drug works against these organisms like enterococci and aerobic bacteria it is the erythromycin okay Next, 90% of the clindamycin is protein bound and metabolized in the liver and excrete to bile and urine. So it is metabolized in the liver and excrete to bile and urine. So uh, it can, there is the adverse effect, it can alter liver function. Okay. And most important thing that clindamycin, only clindamycin can penetrate into the abscess cavity. You know, the uh, anaerobic organism develops and causes the abscess. So many drugs cannot enter into the abscess cavity, but clindamycin can penetrate into the abscess cavity and taken up the phag phagocytosis cell and goes most of the tissue except brain and CSL. And, but you know, metronidazole can uh, well concentrate in the brain and CSL, but clindamycin cannot work. But metronidazole cannot go into the abscess cavity, but clindamycin can work. So most of cases where the abscess drain is it's not possible, like um, lung infections uh, or viscera, we can use uh, like there is a concept that above diaphragm for anaerobic coverage you will use clindamycin below diaphragm we use metronidazole and what are the adverse effect antibiotic associated diarrhea mainly pseudomembranous colitis which is caused by clostridium difficile as clostridium difficile uh, clindamycin cannot work against this nasty organism so metronidazole must use in case of pseudomembranous colitis and it also causes the GI upset. Now, what are the clinical uses of the clindamycin? Let's see the clinical use of the clindamycin. So, clindamycin are clinical use. So, clinical use or indication. At first, it works gram positive cocci except enterococci. Gram positive cocci means strepto and staphylococcus. So, streptococcus, strepto, and another one is staphylo, staphylococcus. So, streptococcus mainly causes pneumonia. So, Mm, clindamycin can be used in community acquired pneumonia number two pneumocystitis xyrovecchi pneumonia pneumonia in AIDS patient okay in AIDS patient number three which is aspiration pneumonia aspiration pneumonia so clinical use for streptococcus is the community acquired pneumonia, pneumocystitis, xyrovecchi pneumonia in AIDS patient and aspiration pneumonia and in the staphylococcus. Staphylococcus mostly the abscesses, abscesses can it can penetrate the abscess cavity number two, uh, skin and soft tissue infection, skin and soft tissue infection, then bones and joint infection we can use bones and joint infection. So abscess, skin and soft tissue infection, bones and joint infection. Number uh, four is uh, one another condition I want to discuss. At first, if any patient has valvular heart disease, if any patient has valvular heart disease, and the patient has gone through some dental procedure like tooth extraction or something, and from that he had got dental infection, dental infection and this infection is going to the blood and causes bacteremia 
bacteremia and it will go to the damaged to the heart valve and attached to the heart valve and causes infective endocarditis so as a prophylaxis so the patient having valvular heart disease he has gone some dental procedure like tooth extraction or some dental works so as a prophylactic we can use clindamycin and staphylococcal conjunctivitis staphylococcal conjunctivitis conjunctivitis as an eye drop we can use clindamycin okay so these are the gram positive cocci now anaerobic coverage so anaerobic infection anaerobic infection mostly two okay bacterioids and clostridium so bacterioids uh, bacterioids means peritonitis peritonitis so in case of peritonitis we can use and it is gas g a s gas okay g g for gas gangrene <laughs> gas means gas gangrene gas gangrene caused by clostridium perfinges but it cannot work against clostridium difficile okay a a for acne okay in case of acne we can use topical topically clindamycin can be used in case of acne acne is caused by propionobacterium acne which is an uh, gram positive bacilli but anaerobic but anaerobic gram positive bacilli non spore forming non uh, non spore forming but filamentous okay and s s for septic aversion septic aversion so these are the clinical use of clindamycin so thank you all for watching this assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh